In the previous video, we were looking at sharing a quantity in a given ratio. In this video, we're looking at a question, first of all, where someone is sharing a quantity, but we're told how much each person gets, and we just have to work out the ratio. Now, that sounds really complicated, but this is actually really, really straightforward. Let's take a look at the question. Ethel gives her collection of rare stamps to her son and granddaughter. Her son gets 400 stamps and the granddaughter gets 200 stamps. Ethel has shared the stamps between her son and granddaughter in what ratio? And then we need to simplify it. Well, we've got the son first and then the granddaughter. The son gets 400 stamps and the granddaughter gets 200 stamps. So that's a ratio of 400 to 200. We haven't finished yet, that does need to be simplified, but we can see that the highest common factor of these is 200. 200 goes into 400 twice, and 200 goes into 200 once. So we have simplified that ratio to 2 to 1. To show the answer as a full sentence, we've got ethyl has shared the stamps between her son and granddaughter in the ratio 2 to 1. Here is example B. We are told that the distance from A to B is one-fifth of the distance from A to C. We need to write down the ratio of the lengths AB to AC. Now, if one distance is one-fifth of the other, you can think of that as the other distance being five times the first distance. Now, we don't know what the exact distances are, but we don't need to. Let's say the distance from A to B is one. Now, when I say one, I don't necessarily mean one mile or one kilometer. It's just one, whatever unit we need, and we might even make up a unit, that means it's the exact distance between these two. So I might even call it one squile. I've just made up a word there. Now, if that distance is one squile, what is the distance from A to C? Remember, the distance from A to B is one fifth of the distance from A to C. So if this is one fifth of the total distance, that total distance from A to C must be five squiles. Don't forget, squiles were my made-up unit of measurement. It just doesn't matter in this question. Now, what is the ratio? Well, we can see the ratio of AB to AC is 1 to 5. So there is our answer. Now, let's have a quick bonus question before we end the video. Pause the video and have a go at that bonus. Here is the answer. If AC is 5 squiles and AB is just one squile, remember my made up unit there, then BC would be four squiles. And the ratio AB to BC is then one to four. Now, you don't need that word squiles at all. That was me just being a little bit silly. The point is, the actual units don't matter in the end. What matters is the relationship between the numbers. 